the story <laughs> of planning our wedding. Woo! He asked me to marry him in November 8th, 2018. At that point, we had been together for approximately six years, give or take a few months. I was working in San Francisco at the time. I fell in love with Northern California and just the, um, the land. The landscape, the environment. Yeah, just the... The flora, the fauna. Everything that was going on up there. <laughs> it had it all going on. And it was kind of a place home from home for me. Like when I was really young, my mom would work up there all the time. So I'd w go up there a lot. Um, and it was my first time coming back as an adult. And I just like the redwood trees and the hills and all the happy cows. And I just literally, I can't drive around Northern California without crying. Ask anyone who's ever driven with me. I cry every time because it's just so beautiful. And I just have such a connection to the land up there. I can't explain it. And so I was like, let's get married up here. Well, uh, we didn't really want to get married in LA because we wanted it to be a place that was special to us and our future. Instead of a place where it's like, oh, we got married there and we see it every day. Like that, mm -hmm, you know, not so special to me. And so there's a place called Bodega Bay, which is in Northern California. It's off the coast, but it still has all the redwoods. It's kind of spooky, which we like. They shot the birds there, which is not why we chose <laughs> it. But it's just, it's very romantic and it's beautiful and it was amazing. So we wanted to get married in the woods and the Armstrong National Park, but due to weird rules or whatever, we couldn't get married where we wanted to. So that went out the window. Hunter found a venue called The Secret Gardens. Hunter found this place online. We were just like, let's book it. It looks amazing. We booked it without even seeing it. Eventually, I went back up there for another job and we saw it and it was perfect. It was amazing. We fell in love with it. I had put together like all the photographer, the florist, the caterer, everything. Got it all situated. I wanted to do this all like a year out before. So I did this all between November 2018 and June 2019 got everything settled got all the contracts in everything was finalized got the cake all of that stuff we had tasted the food we were about to put all of our second payments through to all of our vendors and then february of january february yeah january february covid19 coronavirus came about uh and shut the world down at the start obviously america was not super proactive when it was happening so we didn't really know the extent of it we were still very hopeful we were like maybe they will find a cure in the next two months maybe it, the death tolls won't be as bad if it doesn't leave china um obviously as the news progressed it just got worse and worse and worse and worse essentially as soon as lockdown started happening we had to decide whether or not we were going to cancel our wedding eventually i'd convinced myself that it would be nice for our future to have the photos and for all of our loved ones who've been with us throughout our history of our love if we could celebrate for them so it kind of turned into like a weird me needing to build up the courage to feel like i was worth having a big fancy wedding for and also trying to not be guilted into doing it for other people so that was like a really big struggle that I had personally which I got over before COVID I was like I'm gonna be a beautiful bride I deserve it <laughs> like all these people gonna see me on my day it's gonna be great and so it was kind of like a pretty big mental blow to realize that like all of that mental work I had done is just right out the window and I'm back to square one of not really needing to have a wedding so I kind of went into I don't even want to have a wedding it's not worth it let's just get married and blah 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 but then the family and all of our friends were like no, we want to celebrate with you and see you guys get married. And There was just a lot of back and forth for probably two or three weeks of are we going to have a wedding? Are we not going to have a wedding? Are we going to invite people? Are we not going to invite people? And we decided to cancel it. <laughs> like one, it's in May, right? And we didn't want to move the wedding because just financially for us, it doesn't make sense to put off work when I'm a freelance person and he works in the industry. So both of our work schedules focus around projects and events that are already scheduled that we have no control over. And we didn't want to set aside another portion of our lives to do this. A wedding isn't something that has been super important to me my whole life. Like I wasn't one of those people who dreamed about their ideal wedding. My Both of my parents got married in a courthouse. I just didn't really matter. Beyond that, there was lockdowns happening still happening we're still locked down <laughs> right now travel bans where we we're supposed to be getting married up north uh their travel ban is lifted may 3rd if that doesn't change today's may 1st so we find out in three days if we are still allowed to go up there um i'm gonna change my camera battery Hi, okay so sorry battery died and my other battery 
also was dead. So <laughs> Hunter went back to work and I charged my batteries and I ate some dinner and the sun's going down now. Hi son. So started rambling. We're just gonna start it from the beginning. The new plan, new plan. Canceled the wedding, having a very small family wedding on the beach in Bodega Bay. As of May 3rd, the Bodega Bay's stay at home order is to be lifted. It's currently May 1st, so we find out in two days whether or not they're gonna extend it, but they are currently lightening up the restrictions up there as of now, so hopefully they won't extend it and we'll be able to walk to the beach from our Airbnb and we're just gonna have a little small reception on the beach really quick. We'll all be fairly distanced apart and away from any strangers. We'll get married there, we'll go back to the house and have a nice dinner with family and our maid of honor groom and officiant and that'll be that and then next year on our one year anniversary we want to have a huge reception as if nothing has changed as if no time has passed we are hunter and i will both wear our wedding garments i'll be in my dress he'll be in his suit it'll be as if we just came straight from bodega bay and just got married and we're coming to this reception so every one of you who are watching this who aren't able to be at our wedding hopefully you can come to that and it'll just be a big party. It'll be lots of fun and celebration of us and making it through coronavirus, making it through COVID-19. And yeah, it'll be super fun. So in light of the recent changes in the schedule, there are so many things that didn't happen that we had planned on doing. Like obviously the bachelor and bachelorette party canceled. We were supposed to go to Mexico with a bunch of friends, but that was an easy, easy thing to cancel had to cancel the caterers had to can all the people coming had to cancel we're essentially now having to do everything ourselves so hunter was going to get his suit tailored a month before i was going to get my hair cut and colored uh like a month ago <laughs> i am just today took a online lesson from my makeup artist slash friend lisa dempsey who was going to do my makeup but instead was kind enough to teach me what she would have done on me the day of it'll all work out i'm not super worried about it at the end of the day it's honestly just about me and hunter finally getting married and being together forever and um, i'm just really excited to not get this over with, but to get married and start our life together and start creating um, memories as a family, as an official married family, I guess. Um, and I'm so excited that my mom can be here. Uh, my dad passed away in 2008, so he uh, won't be physically there at the wedding. He'll be there in spirit. Just go down to the beach where we, sp we didn't spread his ashes up there, but we spread them in the ocean so he can be everywhere. And then I don't know, we'll eat and party and keep it safe and keep it clean. There'll be lots of soap and sanitizer. Yeah, it should be, should be fun. We're gonna make the best of it. And uh, I hope this video series is useful or inspiring or made you feel a little bit better about your situation maybe. I know um, I was going crazy wondering if I was doing the right thing or not for myself, for our loved ones, for the family, uh, for money reasons, just, you know you never know what the right answer is going to be and i think this is the best solution that we could come up with uh for our situation and i'm very excited to start life with hunter so i think it's going to all be okay keep you up to date and informed we just got a recent update from the city of sonoma county of the the county of sonoma we've switched from coffee to uh, beers at this point um, and they have extended the stay-at-home order. Uh, Indefinitely. <laughs> so we are currently looking to see if we can still... I guess we can't go up there, right? Uh, it's not looking good. Because the Airbnb mm -hmm. said that we couldn't if the stay-at-home order was set. Yep. So first order is to email him and ask. Yep. Second plan, which we've always had a plan C. This whole time there's been a plan C, which is just to get married, like run to the beach somewhere in Malibu, um, jump out of the car, go get married on the beach uh, with everybody or whoever wants to be there, whoever wants is willing to risk uh, the stay at home order. I mean, thankfully I think that the, the beaches here are not actually like closed. So it, it's closed from LA to San Diego. Okay. Is, so as of right now. yeah, we'll jump out of the car. People keep being like, oh, but it's against the law. And honestly, like at this point, we're on plan C. Um, Arrest me. I'll look great. My hair will be great. My makeup will be great. Arrest me in my wedding dress. 
Um, I just want to be married to him, please. <laughs> uh, and so that's what's gonna happen. If not arrested, we will go to Hunter's uncle's house and have dinner there. It'll still be a great night either way. I would love to get out of LA at this point. That's honestly what I was looking forward to most about going up to Odega Bay was just a different, you know, obviously a change of pace, um, but that's okay. Like, shit happens, it's for safety. You can't blame a county for wanting to protect their people. Cat, I swear to God, she won't shut up. Yep, no, it's... This one would surely oh be God. happy if we stayed and didn't leave her. Um, She doesn't like to be on camera. Just leave uh, her eye boogers alone. Uh, Making her feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I found the stipulation that's like, unless you need, unless you're like displaced from the county and you... No, go into Airbnbs, yeah. yeah. So, Fuck. looks like we're not going to Bodega Bay. Uh, on to Plan C. Um, we gotta call and tell all the family members that now, but that's okay. It's yeah. still a beach. <laughs> we're still gonna get married. We're still gonna have an awesome dinner. Um... And as soon as this is all over, we will take a vacation and go on a honeymoon later in the year. <coughs> <coughs> That's okay, though. Uh. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, there's no other updates tonight uh, on May 1st. That It's been a crazy day. Um, signing off. My first piece of wedding mail. If not better. Oh, I can choose high heel. Yeah, hopefully. Oh no, these are terrible. Has a lot of anxiety and. So I'm just gonna stuff it.